Coach, tell me how you ended up in the chair here today. What, what are you doing here? How do we end up here? Um, well, keeping in uh, in line with the mission of University of Laverne, uh, likewise, University of Laverne football uh, is always looking for ways to uh, get involved in the community. And uh, as a result of that, as some of our players and coaches uh, began growing their hair, it just seemed natural to uh, get involved with Locks of Love. And uh, luckily, we have uh, the amazingly talented Amanda Clark here at Roots in um, the uh, downtown Laverne area, uh, here to help us out with the uh, logistics of this. And can you talk a little bit about the Beyond the Goalpost program? Yeah, the Beyond the Goalpost program was a uh, program that uh, Coach Creek instituted for our football program uh, in an effort to uh, get our boys involved again in the community. And so we've been looking for different partnerships and uh, ways to go about that. And so Locks of Loves is just the start of this. Uh, we're also looking to partner with uh, City of Hope uh, as well as uh, continue our work that we've been doing with uh, Habitat for Humanity uh, to, uh, again, just enhance uh, our stature in the community and help uh, our boys get out there and do some good work. Now, it looks like it's been a while since your last haircut. How do you feel about this? I'm uh, feeling good about it. Uh, to be honest, it's uh, kind of a, a burden at this point right now. But uh, obviously, it'll be a for good cause. And now, in generations past, it was automatic for football players to get their hair cut off. Uh, what happened to that? What, uh, you know, I don't know. Um, is I, that I how think, it was when you were playing? Yeah, it was. It certainly was. Uh, but again, I think with a little more awareness for uh, some of the things and ways uh, football players and athletes can help. Uh, I think it's become more of a, uh, a, co a commonplace in sports, and so uh, again, we're just happy to be given the opportunity to uh, to help out some folks, and uh, and hopefully uh, again make an impact in uh, in the community we live in. And uh, my uh, only hope is that uh, my daughter still recognizes me tonight. <laughs>